Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Fredy Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about Live Plus Arduino Plus LCD. Okay, this is the part number one. Okay, first you need some hardware. Okay, that is okay, guys. Uh, you you need uh, this hardware. This is Dashboard Shield. Okay, I already created a video about intro uh, this hardware. And if you want to purchase, and uh, link in description, go and visit. Okay, and if uh, you can uh, do this project, help of Arduino Uno also. Arduino Uno, you need to connection of LCD. Uh, search any circuit internet and do connections okay but uh, in this hardware not need to do any connection uh, you see this pin is your uh, uh, LCD you need directly insert on this slots okay this is a very advantages of this hardware okay and this is about dashboard shield okay introduction about hardware okay you can see about this video link in description go and visit okay now let's start okay, first let's... Uh, open your Arduino ID okay okay and this is the and code is and uh, uh, link in description go and download this uh, code okay now let's understand about this okay first you need to declare the uh, liquid crystal this is your lcd library okay first you need to declare here okay and remember this is the two methods okay uh, for this is, is commented right now because if you are using arduino you know that time you need to uh, do this type of connections okay if you are using this hardware arduino nano that's time you need to do this connection of your LCD and hardware. Okay, uh, because right now I am using Arduino Nano. That's time you see RSAN. This pin is uh, declared side of LCD. Okay, and right now I am using this uh, as like a variable. RS is connect to A4. A4 is your pin number of your hardware. That is uh, Arduino Nano. Okay, if you are using Arduino Uno, that time RS pin you need to connect pin number 13 of your hardware Arduino Uno okay that's it okay now this is the connections okay if you are using this hardware no need to do any connection if you are using arduino nano or separate any hardware that's time you need to do connections okay and remember don't mismatch any connections otherwise your uh, lcd is not working okay. now this is i'm create a simple variable uh, string p okay now this is the word setup for uh, first time you need to declare okay pins like lcd dot begin 16 dot 2 this is the lcd parameter 16 by uh, by 2 okay and next one lcd dot set cursor 0 comma 0 and serial dot begin this is the border of your arduino you know 9600 and okay and the arduino nano also have a same border at 9600 okay and the, this is lcd clear in the starting when you upload this program at that time your lcd is totally clear okay this is the word set for first time declare now the next time is word loop for continuity operation okay word loop and this is if serial dot available okay if serial dot available this is your like uh, this is your serial monitor if this is available that because time this this function. condition is execute okay now first time uh, connect my hardware okay now connected now come to tools and set uh, board arduino nano i'm using this one and processor you need to uh, uh, select old bootloader like this okay now click tool and select a port port com okay now all done now what you do uh, if serial dot available okay when i click to serial monitor now it's open okay this is okay the next condition is character data data is our variable serial dot read means if you are enter any here like if you are enter anything here that time is your store in the data Okay, that's why I'm uh, enter here serial dot read and that's store in your data. But right now I'm using the character uh, means you need to enter any one character like P, uh, like A to Z like this. Okay, the next condition I'm enter here P. P is I already declare here string. Okay, right now you can enter any message string. Oh, uh, sorry. P equal to serial dot read string. I'm uh, declare here read string and the upper side only declare serial dot read okay why i'm uh, using this two function because help of this character i'm clear the lcd 
okay lcd like if you are enter any uh, dot, uh any message in the lcd and you need to clear that time you uh, you need to use this condition okay that's why i am using this one okay and the second p is equal to serial dot read string now you can enter any string like i'm enter here like for the uh lab view like this this is your string okay and that string if you are enter in the serial uh serial and monitor data store uh, in p okay now i'm click to enter okay now you see p r d w uh, sorry a r d w p lab view this value store in right now p okay and the next serial dot print l p okay that's why you can uh, uh you can able to see the message help of this uh, help of this function serial dot print l p so if i remove this one like i'm um, uh, command this one now you're not able to see the output in your serial monitor now what do you do let's i'm click to upload okay now uploading done uh wait 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 yes uploading done now click to serial monitor and right now enter a string like i'm enter here like first i close this one again open yes i'm enter here pradeep right now you're not able to see this message in your serial monitor like i'm click to enter and you see there no any message okay because you comment uh, this parameter or we can say this function okay that's why uh i remove this one at the same time this message show in your lcd also okay and this is delay for one second and this is the condition for clear if data equal equal c if you are enter any data and data in serial monitor any character in serial monitor if that's character equal equal c that time this condition execute and lcd dot clear your lcd is totally clear okay all done now I again upload this in our hardware okay now you see uh, i connected the lcd in our hardware okay like this okay this is your live programming now let's start a step by step okay first you need to create uh, you need to create a visa open right click and come to uh, instrument io visa and pin this one okay come to advance and you need to create uh, this visa open like this uh open yes and you need to one close for end like this okay in the uh, starting you need to visa right uh, why i'm using visa right for end a uh, message okay that's why you need to uh, uh drag right visa right and visa read for read the message okay all done yes now close this one okay and what you do create a while loop while loop like this i already create like this okay i think you already know right now because i already created lots of project okay now select control space control w and again you see right now uh, you focus on here visa resource right click and create a control this one see this is very important okay event structure now what you do uh, come to structure and create a uh, event structure like this okay this is your event structure okay now what you do how you can apply how you can use event structure okay first you need to create any uh, switch uh, right now you see i already created one switch that is send messages in lcd okay you need to create a one switch or we can say drag like boolean or drag like button okay like push button okay now okay. you see send messages in lcd okay this is the text of your button you see send messages in lcd okay now i am enter here uh, name that is a uh, switch okay like this okay now let's i'm um, tell you about this first right click here and you see add event case click this one and you see have a switch okay and click to okay okay right now you see the same as is switch value change and same like send message in lcd okay now what you do you need to drag your switch in this condition okay, okay this is your timeout right click and create a constant i am entering 100 millisecond uh 100 millisecond like this okay and uh why i'm entering 100 millisecond okay you can enter any value like i'm entering 1000 okay after one second it's or we can say uh, it's come on timeout okay this condition is execute every one second okay that's why i'm entering here 100 okay after 100 millisecond it's visit on this condition okay if you enter minus one not able to enter in this condition okay that's time uh, it's only wait if you are press any switch okay but right now i need to enter on uh, on the timeout 
okay uh, communicate our serial monitor okay now this same okay now this function you need to drag on this same as like this you see i already declare the same things okay right click and visible label you see visa right this is visa right visa read this is visa read same like this and you see they have before right click and create a control this is your enter lcd message okay okay and you need to read okay uh, help of this you need to enter a message in the cell monitor and help of read you can easy to read the output in this you can easy to read output and in the input have a byte you need to create a control help of this you can easy to create a byte okay how much byte you need to read okay all done okay everything is done now the next one is uh, what you need to enter in the timeout for communication now you need to enter like if someone is not press any switch like if someone is not press this switch okay send message to lcd that time if you are if you are not enter anything in this like i am delete this one and control b that time you not able to communicate your serial monitor okay that's why uh, that's why we need to uh, enter the read for continue to read the data okay now everything is done and the main uh, function is this one when you click to run this program okay that time everything is come in default condition okay uh, okay now i delete this function because uh, right now you know everything now i delete this one uh, yes now what do you do how you can do this right click here and come to uh, application control and you see have vi server reference create like this now right click here come to application and you need to create invoke node like this and you need to connect to this reference and click to method and uh, let's come on the uh, okay mm -mm, okay wait wait default value and reinitialize all to default like this okay when you click to run that time your every control and indicator come to default condition okay right now i'm delete this one okay all done now press control t yes all done now what we do let's select a com i uh, select a com4 a uh, refresh select com4 okay okay now you see right now what you do you need to enter a byte right now i am enter here like uh like i'm entering 20 okay and i'm entering here a uh, message for deep okay and click to okay okay and you see in the lcd you see status is pradeep okay it's amazing it's perfectly communicate okay now you see pradeep okay done right now what you do let's i need to clear now what you do let's i uh, remove the value and i need a capital c for clear and click to okay again and you see you see uh, the message is cleared okay all well done and remember if you are need any uh, message that time you need to give a space one space then you need to enter a message like i'm enter here live view live view okay and click to okay and wait a few second and you see live view receive a message in live view as well as hardware okay, right now let's uh, okay. clear the message capital c and click to okay now your lcd is clear okay all done and please remember if you are need to clear that time you not need to give a space you need to enter a character c okay that time easy to clear the lcd but if you need to enter any string that time you need to give a space like this and enter any value okay if you are remove this space okay right now you see uh, when i remove this uh, space and i'm directly enter a string like pradeep okay and you see what's the output you uh, see the pradeep is missing in the lcd now click to okay and you see uh, wait a few second and you see a r d w p okay you miss p that's why if you are need to enter any string you need to give a space okay now i clear the string and i enter a c for clear the message in lcd you see okay done now uh, i again enter pradeep uh, okay pradeep okay give uh, like you see i already give a one space okay and click to okay and you see right now you able to see full message pradeep okay guys all done this is the part number one and thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys